Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're new here and today I have another Fendi bag reveal for you guys and I'm super super excited. I'll reveal it really quickly because I'm sure you're dying to know and also I'll do uh, as usual I'll do a quick review my first impression. I will also include mod shots at the end and a quick what's in my bag. So here it is. It came in this beautiful Fendi dust bags. I really love Fendi dust bags. They are really well made. You can already see the top. <laughs> it's so nice. My brand new Can I Fendi bag and this is in the medium size. It's so lovely. It's so beautiful. And uh, I don't know if the camera will be able to capture the color, but um, yeah, it looks a little bit more of an off-white on camera or maybe even a nude honey color, which it is, but it does have a slight hue of pink undertone. So it is a nude color, but it has like a slight tinge of pink and it's so lovely. I love the gold hardware. Here's how the bag opens. There's a little button here on the side and it opens like so with a couple compartments, large compartments in the inside. It's lined with uh, a really beautiful Arcantara lining. This one is in a lighter sort of um, beige color, which is lovely. There's also a slip pocket here inside. The only one that I saw in gold hardware is the, is the black one, so I'm surprised that uh, yeah, they managed to get it in the light color with this beautiful gold hardware. And then also you'll notice these little details here. So I think these are plexiglass. So there's a sort of like a pink one here and a greenish color here. Same in the front where the lock is and it's really easy to close. Um, what I do is I actually kind of just hold on to the bag from the bottom here and then I just kind of push it in. It's really easy. I love all the scalloped edge. It's really, really lovely. It's such a great size bag. It also comes in a small size. So this is the medium size, like I said, and the dimensions from the exterior is 10 and a half inch across, seven inch in height. And then uh, there's a really generous handle that you can also detach, which you can also do a um, elbow carry, which is really nice. I love the fact that you're not only able to just hand carry, but also, you know, use it on the crook of your arm. I always, always love options like this. And not only that, it also comes with a beautiful shoulder chain, which you can double up. So you can do a shorter shoulder carry if you wish to. I think most of the time I will probably uh, leave it hanging if I'm using the handle, or I will actually use it on the long setting because I love having this beautiful chain uh, hold the bag on my shoulder or even crossbody. Strap drop for the for this chain is about 18 inches, which is um, it's it's a good length for me only because I'm quite petite. There's all these little loops that you can use to put charms. One of the charms that I would really still like to get my hands on, I'm not even sure if it's discontinued, initial charms, the one with the, well for me, A, because my name is Amy, and also it has like a little bit of fur on the side. So I think the letter A has red fur, which is my favorite color. So I think that would look really amazing on this bag. So maybe I'll try to get my hands on one of those. It says A18Q, so I'm assuming that means Autumn 2018. Like I said, I already have a review for this bag. Uh, so I think I'm just repeating myself at this point. There you go. And so you can see it says Fendi here, made in Italy. And then there's a tag here on the corner at the bottom there. And usually those are the um, you know, the RFID tags. Just to very quickly talk about the pros and cons of this bag, uh, as far as I know from first impression and also just from my own research, uh, the pros of this bag is that, like I said earlier, there's tons of combinations to choose from. Uh, there's even more now. It even comes with a mesh version, like the one with the fabric. Uh, it comes with the straight edges. It comes with um, the Zuka and it comes with different color leathers and hardware. Uh, there's a lot of, there's even the new ones with the whip stitch on 
the edges it's beautiful and there's just so many combinations to choose from which is one of the reasons why i really like fendi is because they have something different you know of course classics are great and they're you know essential on one's collection but i think once you reach a point where you kind of get tired of classics all the time fendi is definitely definitely one of the brands where you can find something interesting that you will love and their quality is amazing so that's definitely one of the qualities of well this bag and also a lot of fendi bags i love that the size is a larger size but it doesn't overwhelm the body frame it's a really really roomy crossbody bag uh, so you don't have to sort of you know downsize too too much it will fit a full-size wallet which i really love about it even though i don't really carry one anymore but that's definitely an option and it also comes with a small size which is more similar to a i guess a mini size but it's still very roomy because of the flexible leather the other pro is that you can play with you know changing your different straps adding lots of different uh, charms and things like that uh, you don't even have to go with the fendi ones even though they have some beautiful ones i love that this size the medium size is very substantial so if you're wearing like a suit like i am today that's the reason why i wanted to show you how it looks wearing a larger coat or like even like a nice suit sort of ensemble it just looks really good like it looks really good with blazers for some reason i find that this size especially it just it looks so professional maybe because it kind of looks like a briefcase almost um, which is the reason why I prefer this over to the small size. I like the small size, but I feel like it's so similar to all of the other mini bags that I have that I don't necessarily need one of those, even though it's beautiful. But this is so different and um, I don't quite see as many sort of similar bags in other fashion house that I'm as attracted to. In terms of cons, from my research, I know that this bag can wear out quite a bit if you're... I guess if you're not um, super careful, I suppose. It is still a, you know, a, a soft leather bag and it has a smooth surface. So you definitely don't want to just throw it around and you don't want to overstuff it too, too much. I feel like a lot of the older ones that I see in consignment or just uh, from pictures even, that a lot of them are kind of squished and loses its structure and the initial shape that you get it in so that's sort of like a con i suppose but it's also kind of its own characteristic similar to the valentino spike bag that i have i know that it can wear quite a bit and it can become squished in a lot of photos that i see so i'm super aware of that and um I'm okay with that as well. That's the thing that I wanted to mention. It's something that you just have to be aware of. And it's, I guess it's part of the characteristics of the design, I suppose. So that's something that I noticed. Um, but other than that, I really don't know what else. Um, it's not super heavy, I guess, in terms of weight. I know some people are interested. I think it's kind of similar to the Bosha Mezis weight, in my opinion. Like, I'm holding it like the whole time right now, and it's not super heavy to me. It is very sturdy and substantial though, like it's not that light either, so um, there's a lot of material, but I, I don't find it heavy by any means. A lot of the bags that I have in my collection, you'll notice that if they're not crossbody, there's always several options to carry it, and I love when it has a nice um, sort of handle option. But not only just handheld, I like it when you can also just easily throw it on the crook of your arm because that really does relieve the pressure of having either always on your shoulder or having to hold by your hand. And I love that this, you can easily do that because this handle is just so, so nice and it's a good, good size. Um, pretty much any arm, any arm size can go through it, which I really, really like. Using a plier will help tremendously if you want to take out the chain, but make sure that you use, um, you know, some sort of cloth or something that is thick enough to wrap around this little piece of leather before you pry it open gold champagne color not super yellow um although on the clasp here it looks a little bit more yellow but it still goes really well together so yeah i guess the clasp is slightly more yellow if that makes sense if you can see it hopefully you can see it but as you can see, it still all goes really well together. Huh. 
that's interesting but anyway i'm just super excited and i love this color i'm gonna take care of it here's a very quick what's in my bag it's pretty heavy now like i said you can really load up this bag because it's soft leather as you can see right here it's buckling a little bit it's pretty much inevitable because that's kind of the design and the nature of the bag but um yeah like i said that's kind of like the con of this bag but just something to be aware of i have no problems that it you know does that because obviously that's just how the bag is um but yeah it's pretty heavy right now i did load it up and i like the fact that with this size i don't have to worry about uh sizing down like i said um i just i can pretty much throw anything in it almost um, I mean, it's not as big as a tote, obviously, but it's a really, really good size. So just let me show you what I've got inside. Oh, and the other thing, like I mentioned in my previous video as well, you can also watch my other video. I'll link it down below, the one where I reviewed the English rose color, especially if you want to see the color. It's really a nice, really beautiful color. I honestly wish that I can have both, but uh, I don't ever really duplicate my bags, and you guys know that about me. But yeah, I love both. I honestly love both. So the other thing is that when you open it, if you just kind of leave it like that, it does kind of do this. <laughs> so like I said, it is, it is a soft leather bag, so it will kind of do this. But things won't fall out, which I really love about it. Um, it has a really nice structure and everything. So as you can see, I really loaded it up. And just to show you very quickly what's in it, I have my sunglasses sitting on top without a case and i just wanted to show you that it does fit a full-size wallet so i've got my phone sitting here in the back and i have a huge phone i've got my full-size emily wallet and it doesn't even take up the entire uh length of the bag actually there's a good inch and a half left so if you have a bigger wallet than this know that it will fit which is something that uh, a lot of bags can't do in the front down here uh, i've got my mini pochette so you can have your catch-all and then I have two more little SLGs I have my six key and I have my wallet so this is another card case wallet lastly I have my card keys which I pretty much just threw in it like it doesn't even have to be organized or anything and you still have space here in the back pocket where you can put like you know your bus pass or whatever something for quick access and voila that's pretty much what fits in it and it honestly can fit a little bit more i'm super super excited to start using this bag it is the summer so i mean the color is a really good summer color but i think this is a great winter color as well it's pretty much an all year round color i'm definitely gonna have lots of fun styling this and i'm definitely gonna use it a lot in the fall in the fall i like to bring a little bit more with me or when i get tired of you know small bags all the time honestly i probably will never get tired of my small bags but sometimes i do want to sort of not think about it like i said earlier and just throw things in a bag this is gonna be it and this will go with a lot of my lighter color outfit which i'm so excited about so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it or found this helpful if you're thinking about the can i bag uh, like i said i will leave all the links down below to everything i mentioned hopefully i won't forget anything but if i do just let me know if you're new to my channel thank you so much for watching and if you would like to subscribe to my channel i would love to have you back also don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you get updated and notified on all my new videos going forward and that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching everyone and i will talk to you again very soon bye